been waiting for you! You did this to me! Professional help. Liar! You know what's going on. This is a dream, and you're the one responsible. A dream? Why do you think that? I suspected it from the start. I knew I was right when I tried to read the newspaper. The print didn't make sense. Yes? That's because reading is a function of the right side of the brain, while dreams come from the left side. It's impossible to read something in a dream. Granting that's true. How is it my fault? I can't explain it. But you're the key to this. I knew you'd be here. This tower is part of my nightly patrol. Now tell me what's going on! We know you're up there, Mr. Wayne. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to talk. <clears throat> are in order, I suppose. And you're right. This is a dream, a very special dream. Then you know everything about me. I do. But I'm only part of your dream. The mind-controlled apparatus reveals nothing to the real world. Its purpose is to create an ideal world for you. Then you're not the real Mad Hatter. No! Just a figment of your imagination. But that doesn't mean I'm not real in this dream world. Make it stop. Bring me back. I'm crushed. You don't like the fantasy world I've created for you? It's not real. Ah. Are you the dreamer or merely part of someone's dream? <laughs> that was just the question Tweedledee put to Alice in Through the Looking. This isn't some silly storybook! Ah, but it is. It's a beautiful story. You have love, wealth, a family, all you ever wanted. Your own private wonderland. No! I won't live a lie, no matter how attractive you make it. It's a moot point, my friend. There's no way out of this. Tell me how to wake up or I'll... Nah, you can't hurt a dream, my good fellow. And you can't wake up. Stop fighting it. Then I'll see you in your nightmares. Mr. Wayne, no! Keep you out of mine! 